Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and this is the third and final Love Zone tutorial as part of the Catch the Clown series. Please remember that this is the equivalent of the fifth Spider and Programming tutorials. Today we're going to be adding an extra room, and in that room we're going to add a special monster that the programmers made. So we're going to be creating two alpha sprites. Right click create sprite, call the first one SPR monster 3 add a sprite, add some image and give it a color we haven't used yet the next one is going to be called SPR portal this is going to be marking the end of the, end of the room Click add a sprite, add some image color we have not used yet uh, there's a purple color create objects to the sprites press an OBJ Monster 3. Another object. OBJ Monster. Oh, sorry, not Monster. OBJ Portal. And get this right. So we're going to create a se second room today. So right click create room. We'll just leave this at the default size. Put the snap x, snap y at 32 or 32. Let's line it with our wall. Quickly add the tile set. Should know how to do this. And put monster three in there, and our human in there. Th done. Game maker, whichever room's on top, will come first. So if you want to change order of the room, all you need to do is drag it around like that. Right here. Add a portal at the end of the room. The programmer has made the portal, so. You need to get a certain amount of coins to get it. Also, what we're going to do today is we're going to add something called views. So, this room is pretty big, but we only want the human to see a limited amount of the room. In order to do this, click on the views tab, click enable views, click visible room starts. We'll set the view in room as 400. By 400. You can see right here, the little square. That will be all the human can see. And for the screen, uh, 640, 640. This means that this will be literally how big the room, the view will actually be in the room. But the port on the screen will be how big the it'll be stretched out to be on the screen. Let's have follow object human. H board 200, V board 200. This will make it follow it. The higher this is, the more precisely it'll follow it. If it's like, let's say, 32 by 32, it'll wait till the human is 32 away from the edge of the view before the view will start moving. Do the same for the second room. Views, enable view, visual room starts. 400. By 400, 640 by 640, follow the human at 200 and 200. And that's all for this third and final level design tutorial. If you want to learn more about level designing, there really isn't much more to know in Game Maker, but um, if you want to learn more about like in 3D programs, which level designing is a whole lot more complex. You need to go to Steam and download Unreal Engine Editor, and you can figure that out. I I may may not be making tutorials about that in the future. 
thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions, you can PM my YouTube channel. You can email me at my email address, which is found at my YouTube channel. Or you can register at our forum, simforge.co.cc, and PM me there. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Oh, my God.